morning friends. It's sunrise time and it's calm and pretty and time to take a deep breath and start a new day. Um, and that's true even in the hard moments or the sad moments, the busy moments, the painful moments all the moments and um, you know sometimes I kind of worry that I talk too much about when things are hard but perhaps not because there's not a lot of spaces in the world that invite conversation about when things are hard so if you're finding yourself in a low moment a challenging moment a stressful moment you're not alone uh, I find myself in one of those moments also, and uh, you know, I had I had this dream that I was swimming, and there was a shark on my neck. And at first, I froze, and then nothing happened. It didn't eat me, so I kept swimming. And um, I think maybe that's kind of a metaphor of like. You know, you got you got. Sometimes you got to freeze up. You got to stop. You got to pause. Um, and uh, then you got a decision to make. You know, you gonna you need to stay frozen. You gonna sink. You gonna try to keep swimming. See what happens. I don't know where I got the message, but I know it wasn't just me. That if I you know did the right things. I ate the right things and made the right friends and you know conducted my life in accordance with goodness and kindness and those things that then uh, you know everything would be good I would feel good I'd be happy even in my young and maybe even current sometimes railing against you know capitalism and imperialism and um, the way the world is these days I think there's still quietly some part of me that just believes if I rail against the right things, then I'll be happy. Everything will be good. The reality is life is just combined of the hard moments and the good moments. And so, um, you know, when it's good, really embrace it. When it's hard, look for the little moments of grace. In Richard Rohr's book, uh, The Spring Within Us, he says that grace is like water and it pools at the low points. So if you find yourself at a low point, I pray that grace will pool there. That you will find the little gifts and the beauty. That you will have people to reach out to. That you will feel a sense of this is hard, but I'm still loved. And that you'll see the next right step, because sometimes that's all we can do. May it be so. Grace and peace, friends.